Struggling to lose weight? Here's why. Losing weight is always a struggle and takes willpower. But why is this? It's all to do with your established sub subconscious mindset, which resists change. It's no different from changing your habits in many other ways. So how can we overcome this? I'm David Betts, business coach working in Essex and Suffolk, and here is my latest business help video. Subscribe to my channel and don't miss future topics. Losing weight at this time of year is a common goal for a lot of people. But overcoming your existing subconscious mindset is what causes it to be a real challenge. In reality, it's exactly the same if you look to change the way you work in business. So let's look at what actually happens. Firstly, realise that human evolution has formed us with a natural resistance to change, because in wilder living situations, a tribe would involve safe ways of doing things. And if you varied from this, you could put yourself at risk, possibly even getting killed. So by default, we subconsciously resist change as being dangerous, which of course, in a modern lifestyle, is almost all the cases untrue. If we plot dieting scenario as a graph of weight against time, this could be our desired weight, with our actual weight being this. So what we do, we reduce our calorie input and increase our calorie burn with exercise. The weight drops off in these circumstances, but we feel hungry and possibly tired from the exercise. We have to fight our urge to eat and exercise less. Now consider the body's internal message at this time. It's accumulated energy reserves in the form of fat, which is now burning away. You can't communicate directly with your subconscious, so your body now looks at where this heading and can interpret, if it doesn't stop, I could die. Its solution is to make you crave food even more than ever and the fight becomes harder. Let's assume you use strong willpower and hit your target. Big celebrations. But what often happens next is your weight starts to climb as soon as you stop the diet. The reason for this is your body is now desperately trying to build up its safe energy reserves to where they were before. Realise this is not due to a failure on your behalf, it's your body fighting your change of lifestyle. So here's a technique that can help overcome this problem. It takes longer and it's about changing your mindset first and then letting your weight adapt to your mindset. When you weigh yourself, you probably do so in stones and pounds or kilos. But most electronic scales can be switched between stones, kilos or pounds. Switch the scales to a range that's meaningless to you. For instance, if you normally work in kilos, switch it to pounds. Display and work out your desired weight in that range. In this example, pounds. So, if you wanted to weigh 65 kilos, this would work out to 139 pounds. The process is now this. Every morning when you get out of bed, you weigh yourself. But before getting on the scales, say to yourself, I weigh 139 pounds. And get on the scales and look at the number. But don't react to it. It's just read it out. Now it's important to do this every single day without fail. And don't do it with any rigid dieting, as this will send mixed messages to your body. Over the next months, you'll see your weight slowly reduce as your subconscious internalises the conflict between what you're telling it you weigh and what you actually weigh, 
And in this case, it starts to work with you, reducing your hunger desire, which of course reduces your calorie input. This is not a quick fix, but it should give you a slow progressive weight adaption, which can be maintained. I wish you every success with this. I hope this video helps you. It's part of an ongoing series of help topics, more normally directly related to business. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss topics of interest to you. And please leave comments so I can see topics which are most popular. I'm David Betts, business coach working in Essex and Suffolk. And if you would like help with this or business in general, get in touch for a chat.